Hey Breezers, how are you guys? Okay, so we're gonna react to Foodie Beauty's new video. It's her new vlog. I think it's a couple hours old now. Um, sorry I'm late to the party. I am getting my little camper ready to go on the first camping trip tomorrow. So it's an exciting day over here. It's a birthday weekend. It's a first camping trip for my little someone starting tomorrow. So it's an exciting time. Um, but I'm excited for this vlog because it's something different than foodie eating. Like I'm so sick of seeing foodie and food, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like I want to see something different. Um, I'm excited for this haul. I got to say, all right, let's go ahead and check this out together. I think I already said the name of the vlog, but in case I didn't, it's titled my plus size, a buy a collection from Kuwait. So before we watch this, I guess my questions are, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning through these vlogs. I'm learning now on my own too um, because I can't, I can't rely on foodies research. So, um, so I'm interested in learning like are there other colors? Is she going to be wearing are the other colors? Um, are other colors a thing or is it just um, black and white as far as the Abaya goes? Um, and my other question is I'm assuming there's materials for like the summertime when it gets really hot, but um, I'm genuinely curious how foodie, how foodie will handle the heat this summer. But like I said, um, I'm, I'm assuming they make materials that are like lighter and different, and maybe we'll find out in this vlog. All right, let's check this out together. Hey guys, so I tried to find an accurate women's clothing conversion chart online but I found different ones with different information. So when I went to the Abaya shops to shop in person, I did ask the woman working for a size four or five X what the best size would be. Okay. And uh, I was directed to try on size 58 or 60, uh -huh. just for your information purposes. I see 58 was an Italy. Sorry, I was trying to look at the chart really fast. Let's see if we can go back a little bit. Okay. I don't know that I paid attention to like clothing charts like this. Um, other than on Amazon when I'm looking. So fifty eight or sixty. Okay. All right. I was just checking this out. All right. Let's carry on. Different ones with different information. So when I went to the Abaya shops to shop in person. I did ask the woman working for a size. The only size 58 through 60 I see is for Italy. Am I missing something? I probably am. All right. Four or five X, what the best size would be. And uh, I was directed to try on size 58 or 60, just for your information purposes. Okay, thank you. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I oh my gosh, I am, but are you a TV, like, are you a talk show host now? We're in the corner of the room. We have a microphone happening. A place where I got a really good deal uh -huh. on a buy it and hijab match together. Like, it comes together as one set. Okay. I'm holding my microphone because it really bothers me being on my clothes and the hijab might rustle with it. Oh, so. the sound, got it. So I'm just going to show you my entire Abaya collection with, okay. like, maybe different hijab. I don't know. We'll see. How tired I get. I actually really hate trying on clothes, which is why I don't do a lot of clothing hauls. And really, I don't really buy that many clothes either. I don't know. So I'm going to start. Maybe now, but I feel like before you used to buy new clothes every time you went out with Nader. Um, and I feel like there was Torrid hauls. With the new ones, the other ones I try on are going to be repeats. Uh -huh. But just to show you my entire collection. Okay. So these two new ones come with the hijab and they were delivered like the next day and it was like so affordable and they're really high quality. Okay, so it says 15 quid dollars each including the abaya. 15 KD equals 50 US dollars or 66 Canadian dollars. So I'm actually really, really, really impressed with that. So okay. I'll show you up close first, a little bit of the detail and then I'll show you further back to show you like a full picture. So uh -huh. this is the matching hijab that comes with it. It's the same color as the- um, Actually making sure to flash that ring. Abaya, black and like a turquoisey grayish color. I don't know what color that would be, uh -huh. but as you can see here, it has some nice detail, like bejeweled detail on it, and the sleeves as well right. have a really nice detail on them. Yeah, as you can see. All right, 
All right, so this is the whole abaya. Okay. Number one. It's size 58. All of the abayas abaya are in size 58 or 60, which is pretty much the biggest size here. So as you can see, it goes right down to my feet. How many times are you going to say as you can see? Feet and covers my feet pretty much. So I'm completely covered, which is what I like for ultimate modesty. Uh -huh. And we are going to be traveling as well. So I would like a nice couple of really more fancy. Ab I don't know that I buy that you care about ultimate modesty. Abayas. And underneath the abayas, just so you know, I always wear a slip. It's like a full head to toe dress that uh -huh. covers everything as well for that extra layer of protection so this is abaya number one i have a genuine question okay so in the vlogs we've been seeing recently she's been hot she's been sweaty um please call my mind and tell me like i said i'm sure there's materials that are lighter i'm sure i'm sure they've got that covered i just i'm genuinely curious how she's gonna survive when it gets hotter i am all right guys so this is the second okay that is so pretty maybe not where i'm paused at but it's so pretty mm -hmm. by the way these were a birthday gift because my birthday's in a couple days they're a birthday gift from my husband salah in addition to the happy almost birthday foodie may your birthday i this is my wish for you that you wake up on your birthday and you realize you want a much better life and um you're going to strive to do better and want better from there on forward. That's my that's my birthday wish for you. Um, iPhone 14 Pro Max that I'm filming on right now. So I hope the quality is really good for you guys. He didn't um, buy I them. It's a sweet thought, but we know he didn't buy them. Same price as the other one. Okay. And it comes with the matching hijab as well. Mm -hmm. It's just a plain black hijab. And there's so many different styles you can do with hijabs, but I'm just doing a very simple one just for this video's sake to save some time. So I really love the detail on this. The yeah. colors are really, really nice. And I have a lot of makeup looks that I can do to match this color. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a fancy, more colorful abaya. I'm used to just wearing black or white, black and white mix. So I really like the splash of color on these. Yeah. The sleeves are also not baggy. Usually my abayas have like baggy sleeves, which makes it hard to like eat and cook because they're always dragging. Couldn't you tailor the sleeves though? In the food, but this is like pretty tailored. I like it. Uh -huh. And as you can see, it has a nice floral. Oh, she put tapered. Tapered? LOL. Line. I really, really love it. All right, now from far away. All right, so as it's you can pretty. see, this one is also pretty long. Yeah. It is size 58. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty roomy, and this is what it looks like from afar. So as you can see down here, it's pretty much covered. Foodie, who taught you the? <laughs> who taught you that saying? Like you've said it so much. We can see. You keep saying as you can. Yeah, we see. Thank you. My feet as well, and that's because it's uh, you know the size. They assume that if you're a size, bigger size, the taller you are as well. And in my case, I'm only 155 centimeters, so it's long on me, but I could take it in for, uh, to get it hemmed if I wanted to. But when I have shoes on, it's not too bad. I think it, that one is so pretty. I really, I liked her prayer, gra pra uh, prayer gown that she showed too. Um, was it on a live stream or a vlog? Now I can't remember. Oh, it was her apartment tour. I thought it was really pretty. Um, the detail of the flowers on this, I love. I love the colors. Um, I think it looks nice on her. I, I have nothing negative to say so far about this vlog, other than I wish she would stop saying, as you can see. So, this is Abaya number two. Okay. Right, this is Abaya number three. This is one I purchased... So she put across the screen, which one is your favorite comment? Before I went back to Canada, the first time I came to Kuwait, mm -hmm. this is one I got, and this is a size 60. It just depends on how the abaya is made and the fabric they use. And as you can see, this is one of the styles that have the loose yeah. sleeve, which I don't prefer. I prefer a tailored sleeve, which is why I like Jillbabs. They have the tailored, like the tapered sleeve, sorry, not tailored, tapered, tapered sleeve. Tapered, it's okay. So this is just a black and white one, so wearing mm -hmm. a white hijab, very basic with it. And I'll show you from afar. So this one is not as long, but it does still cover my feet and my shoes. And 
is what it looks like full body. Okay. So this one is more of a casual, kind of everyday kind of a buyer to go out to do groceries, to run errands, kind of things like that. Mm -hmm. So something not as fancy as the other two that you saw. I needed some fancy ones in my collection, so that's why I got those two fancier ones. So number three. All right, guys, here is another buyer that we did shop for previously. And I was going to say, I feel like we've seen this one. Their black and white one. This would also go really nice with a white hijab, but I couldn't find my white under cap, so I'm going to wear a black one, which also goes with it. By the way, if you want to see some of Aya shopping videos, you can check them out on our couples channel, Salah and... Foodie, I'd be happy to see you do anything other than go to a zoo and eat. Like this vlog, I find refreshing. Please, I know you watch my videos. Please, if you never listen to anything else, I say, do more of anything other than the zoo and eat, please. Chantel, that's always linked in the description below as well. As okay. Well as you can follow me on TikTok and other social media in the description. So this one is actually... She's still really trying for that TikTok, you guys. A size 60. So this, again, has not as baggy sleeves, but what I like about this one is that it has pockets. Mm -hmm. I am a pocket kind of a gal. Anybody else, I want pockets in my dresses, in my sweaters, in my pants. I need pockets. Anybody else? They're pretty deep pockets. You can put a lot of things inside. I can put my phone and the router in each pocket when you go to the beach or something. What I don't like about this abaya is how long it is for a size 60. This is the longest abaya I own, and I'll show you down below. As you can see, oh, okay, yeah. it's really long. Booty, please never say the, please, the next vlog, please never say these words again. As you can see, please, please. And actually, in that one video where I actually tripped, I tripped on my abaya. Oh, and fell yeah. On the stair. Because. I remember. Yeah, you can easily. It's too fall. long for you. But I do like the style. I do like that it's the only one I have that has pockets. So. So we're coming to a near end here. This mm -hmm. is one that I don't really wear often because it is kind of snug, but I just wanted to show you the style of an open abaya. So this is the open abaya. There is a clasp under this hijab that you can close it. I actually can't okay. close it. Um, it just... Do I say it wrong or does foodie? I say hijab or hijab, depending on like how my mouth will let me say it, depending on the day. It isn't made the same way as flowy and as roomy as the other abayas that I have. So I'm just showing you and maybe someday inshallah when I lose some weight, I'll be able to wear it. But until then, I'm just going to show you here and it's uh, open style. So as you can see, like that. And I'm just wearing a long style of hijab to cover myself for mm -hmm. the open gaps. So this is the open style of Aya, basically. Alright guys, so this is one that you've seen okay. many times as yes. well, mm -hmm. but I really like it because it's so casual and it's just plain black and I really like plain black. So I also am just wearing my undercap just to show you what I wear underneath my chiffon or jersey hijabs. Okay. Um, this is the undercap and this is how long it is. So I tuck it usually into my underdress and that way I can wear more sheer colored uh, chiffon hijabs for example without worrying about showing my neck or hair. Mm -hmm. Also, I like that if I get too hot, I can just take off the other layer. Of she said or hair. She said or hair. And it kind of cools me off just wearing the other cap. Okay. So, this one doesn't have pockets. I forgot to check the size. I'll write it here somewhere. But this is just a basic... So across the screen, you guys, it says size 58. Day-to-day -day Abaya. Nothing fancy or anything like that. Very casual. So I really like this one. We know. Alright, now for the last one. Okay. The last one, you guys. Alright, guys. This is the last and certainly not the oh, I like this last one I'm going to show you in my collection today. Mm -hmm. So it's a mix between casual and a little more than casual, like a little fancy. Um, it has the nice fringe detail and it's a nice bi-color with mm -hmm. neutral tones. 
and I have a matching hijab here. More casual, breathable hijab, not chiffon or anything fancy, anything like that. Okay. And it's a little less flowy than the other ones. I'll show you from the back. Mm -hmm. I like that one. I like the second one and I like that one. What do you guys think? I honestly, you guys, I'm just in a good mood. Like I said, I'm happy we're doing something other than eating. Like, I am all for this. And I usually wear this one out just if I'm sick of the black and white colors that I have. Mm -hmm. So before those other two first ones I showed you, the new ones, I didn't have any color in my wardrobe, like I said. So it's going to be a, a nice addition with some color because this was, as far as color goes, this was it for me. So Okay. I can also show you guys hijab tutorials uh, if you're... She sounds out of breath. She says, hold on, this might be our thumbnail, woohoo. Woohoo! Interested in the future just to show you how I do different styles. Okay. I've had to learn myself through Instagram tutorials. They're really great. So We know. I still can't get over. You said you're, like, teaching yourself basically everything through Instagram. Social media can be a really good learning tool. So, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. See I did enjoy this video, but you guys, I'm noticing towards the end of the video... If you guys pay attention to her breathing, now she's very red. My abaya and hijab collection. I do have a few other hijabs, but I'll show you those at a later date. This is my abaya collection for now. Abayas are, I find, more comfortable and loose fitting for someone my size here in Kuwait. I find casual wear, like jeans and shirts and things like that, are made more on the smaller side and they actually um, usually only go up to like 2x in the oh, stores. Okay. So even online, I'm having trouble finding like four or five X. So, um, you know, I am going to be going to a gym, but in the meantime, I need to be, still be stylish, you know, so, and comfortable <laughs> and modest. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to leave me your comments. And thanks again for watching. Bye guys. Thanks for watching, it says. Okay, my thoughts, what do you... I hope you go to the gym. I just don't believe it. Much like I have trouble believing anything that you say. Um, my thoughts are, again, I've said it so many times. You guys are probably sick of it. I'm happy we're doing something other than the zoo <laughs> and eating. I was happy to see this video. Can I say, though, like, I noticed she didn't seem very happy during the video. Um, I feel like I was happier than she truly was. It looked like something was up. Um... Like I said, towards the end, her breathing, her face got really red. I don't know. It seems like something else is up. I don't know. Um, I know. I just hope everything is okay. And I hope she's paying attention to her blood pressure and her health. Um, I don't like the things that she does and says most of the time. But I don't know. I, I'm a little bit concerned towards the end of the vlog on how she was looking and how she was breathing. But um, foodie, I enjoyed this vlog. I don't know about anybody else. I... Could just be in a really good mood, so that's why. But um, I really like the second one. I think you looked really pretty in it. I could say that. I mean, you guys, let's be honest. Like, we don't... Foodie does a lot of crappy things, right? But, like, it can't hurt to say or give a compliment here and there. I mean, everybody... It feels good to get a compliment, right? I think the second one looked nice on her. Um, I hope to see you guys tomorrow for the birthday live stream. I'm hoping around um, 1 p.m. my time. I'm on the West Coast. So I hope to see you guys there. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Sorry today. Um, I've been a little late on the videos. But um, yeah, a lot's been going on. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope you're having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are. Do you really think Foodie's going to the gym? Do you still think she's fighting with Sala? And did you like the second one as much as I did? All right, you guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.